Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on LibreOffice Impress, creating a presentation document and basic formatting. In this tutorial, we will learn about the parts of the Impress window and how to insert slides, copy slides, about fonts, and formatting of fonts. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux 10.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. Let's open our presentation, Sample Impress, that we created in the previous tutorial. Let's take a tour of what is on the screen. In the center, we see the workspace, which is our working area. As you can see, the workspace has five tabs called the View buttons. Currently, the Normal tab is selected. This is the main view for creating individual slides. The Outline view shows topic titles bulleted and numbered lists for each slide in outline format. The Notes view lets you add notes to each slide that are not seen when the presentation is shown. The Handout view allows to print the slides for a handout. Here we can choose the number of slides that we want to print per page. The Slide Sorter view shows thumbnails of the slides. Let's click on the Normal View button again. On the left-hand side of the screen, you see the Slides pane. It contains thumbnails of the slides in the presentation. On the right-hand side, you see the Tasks pane, which has five sections. The Layout section has pre-packaged layouts. We can use these directly or modify them as per our requirements. We shall see each of these sections in detail as we progress through the tutorial series. Now let's learn how to insert a slide. Select the second slide in the Slides pane by clicking on it. Now we click on Insert and Slide. We see that a new blank slide has been inserted after the second slide. To add a title to the slide, click on the text bar that says Click to Add Title. Now type Short Term Strategy and click outside the text box so a title can be added in this way. There are two ways in which we can make a copy of a slide. Let's look at the first way. Click on Insert and Duplicate Slide. We can see that a new duplicate slide has been inserted after the one we created in the previous step. Alternately, go to the Slide Sorter view by clicking on the Slide Sorter tab in the Workspace pane. Now, copy the 7th slide by right-clicking on it and selecting Copy from the Context menu. Right-click on the last slide and select Paste. Select After and click OK. You have now created a copy of the slide at the end of the presentation. Now let's look at Fonts and some of the ways that you can format fonts. Select the slide title Long Term Goal by double-clicking on it. Click on the body text box and select all the text. Now delete it. Now type the following. Reduce cost. Reduce dependence on few vendors. Develop customized applications. Changing the font type and font size are the same as in LibreOffice Writer documents. Select a line of text. In the text format toolbar, Change the font type from Albany to Arial Black and the font size from 32 to 40. Click anywhere outside the text box. Notice that the font has changed. We can also change the font by clicking on Format in the main menu and the Character option. This opens up a dialog box in which we can set the font, style and size as per our requirement. Let's close this dialog box. To change the color of the font, we will choose the slide titled Development Up to Present. Click on the body text box and select all the text. Click on the downward arrow next to the font color icon and select the color you want. Click anywhere outside the text box. Notice the change in the color. Formatting like bold, italics and underline are the same as in LibreOffice Writer documents. Select the slide title Recommendations. Click on the body text box and select a line of text. 
Now click on the bold, italics and underline icons. Click anywhere outside the text box. Notice the change in the text. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. To summarize, in this tutorial, we learnt about the parts of the impress window and how to insert slides, copy slides, about fonts and formatting of fonts. Try this comprehension test assignment. Create a new presentation. Insert a slide between the third and fourth slide. Create a copy of the fourth slide at the end of the presentation. Create a text box in the second slide. Type some text in it. Change the format of the text to 32 font size. Make the text bold, italic, underlined and blue color. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict hyphen intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Daisy Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.